there's your medication. Ugh, I know. You're ready for a meal. This isn't a meal. You're in for a rude awakening. This is medicine. Putting it onto his tongue. Was that delicious? Not really. Good morning, Chris. Hi, everyone. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I give oral meds to a kitten. Now, these little guys all have upper respiratory infections, so they are on an antibiotic to help them with that. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips to help you safely give oral meds to kittens. So maybe this sounds silly, but the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you know the method of administration for the drug that you've been given by your veterinarian. There are oral meds that go into the mouth. There are ophthalmic meds that go into the eyes. There are even injectable medications. So for this video, we're talking only about oral medication that goes into the kitten's mouth. When you get your oral medication from your vet, make sure you check the expiration date and that it's not expired, and make sure that you know how to store it. Some drugs are going to be stored room temperature, and other drugs are going to be stored in the refrigerator. So for instance, this drug, Clavamox, comes as a powder, which is stored at room temperature, and then when you mix that powder with water, you shake it up and it becomes their oral medication, which needs to be stored in the fridge. So you have your drug, you know where to store it, but how much of it do you give to the kitten? Well. Dosing is done by weight, and your veterinarian is going to give you the dosing information for the kitten. Now, it's important to note that the weight of a kitten changes very frequently, because these little guys are gaining a lot of weight every single day. So you wanna make sure you talk to your vet about what dosing is gonna look like over the course of time, especially if they're going to be on a drug for a week or 10 days, you know, their weight is going to change and the dose might change as well. But you don't have to worry about dosing because that's the job of the veterinarian. They're going to tell you the dose. Your job is simply to correctly interpret the dose. So let's talk about how to do that. So you may have noticed that kittens are quite small and their doses are usually going to be pretty small as well because they're dosed by weight. This is a one cc syringe and that's usually what you're going to be using for giving oral medication to a kitten. But there's a lot of different numbers on here and it's very easy if you are new to giving medications to get it wrong. So here you can see that this is a one cc syringe and at the end it's going to say 1.0 cc's or 1.0 ml's. So this is one milliliter. And then if you go down, you can see there's 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, and so on. And then at the end here is 0 0.1 milliliters. I wanna illustrate to you why it's really important to understand which dose you've been given. So with my one cc syringe, I'm gonna draw up one milliliter. So here's what it looks like if you pull up 1.0 milliliters of medication. Now let's do 0 0.1. So here we have 0.1 milliliters of medication. You can see that 0.1 is one tenth as much as 1.0. So if you've been given a dose of 0.1, it's really important not to give 1.0 because that's 10 times too much. But with little kittens, depending on the medication, you might even be given a dose as small as 0.01. There's little teeny tiny lines on here and each of those is 0.01 cc's. So I'm gonna pull up just 0.01 now. So there's 0 0.01. And you can see this is just a little whisper of medication. And it's really important that if you've been dosed 0 0.01 for a drug, that you don't accidentally do 0.1 or 1.0. There's magnitudes of difference here that can be very harmful to a kitten if you don't pull up the correct amount. So these are my updated doses for the kittens that I'm caring for right now. Their doses have increased as they've gained weight. So today, Chris's dose is 0.1. So let's pull up 0.1 of medication. There's 0.1. So now it's time for Chris to have his medication. Now kittens and cats have a nice little gap on the side of their mouth and it's perfect for opening up and wiggling a little syringe in there. What we wanna do is we wanna open the mouth from the side and we wanna squirt the medication onto their tongue. What you don't wanna do is squirt it from the front towards the back because the kitten can aspirate. We don't wanna cause aspiration, so we're not gonna shoot this towards the back of his mouth. We are going to slowly put it onto his tongue and let him swallow it. So I'll gently hold his head, wiggle this into the side, and apply it to the tongue. Good job! Way to go! Now it's Nigel's turn. 
Nigel's dose is 0 0.09. So you might see a nine here, but that's 0.9. That's 10 times too much. So we're just gonna pull up 0 0.09. 0 0.09 looks pretty close to 0.1. It's just one little notch less. So I'm gently holding his head, putting this in the side, and I'm putting it onto his tongue, and he swallows. Was that delicious? Not really, okay. Debbie's dose is 0 0.08. These lines are super tiny, so you have to be pretty precise. Here's her 0.08. I'm gonna hold her head, put this in the side, and lightly apply it to the tongue. Good job, Debbie. Now Clem and Debbie are around the same weight, so he's also gonna get 0 0.08. Now something that can happen is you might put your syringe into the fluid, pull it up, and realize that you have a big air bubble in there. That air bubble is not delivering any medication to your kitten. So what you can do is put it back in, push it out with the air bubble, pull it back up, and the air bubble should be gone. All right, so we're pulling up 0.08. There we go. You ready? I'm gonna hold his head. Put it into the side, and there's your medication. Ugh! Nice work, little guy. Last but not least, we've got little Jimmy. Jimmy's the smallest, and his dose is the smallest, too. His dose is 0 .07. Now remember, his dose is not 0.7, it's 0 .07, a very small amount. Make sure there's no air bubbles. I know. You're ready for a meal. This isn't a meal, you're in for a rude awakening. This is medicine. I'm going to hold his head, plop it in the side of his mouth, and gently plunge it onto his tongue. You did it! You did it! You had your medicine! And that's it. Don't forget to properly store your medication. If it needs to go in the fridge, put it immediately back into the fridge. And don't forget to write down what you've done. Some medications might be once a day, twice a day, or even three times a day. So write down the date and time that you gave the meds so you can keep track of their progress. Good luck and happy medicating!